Hello students, good evening all of you. In last class, we discussed some problems based on Williamson either synthesis. Okay, so it is a extension of that Williamson either synthesis. So let us discuss some more problems based on the Williamson either synthesis. Okay, so actually here Williamson synthesis involves a SN2 type reaction. Here in this case, first the acid base reaction and uh, uh, by the acid base reaction that generates the nucleophile this nucleophile is involved in a uh, substitution reaction by adding alkyl halide so finally we will get the sn2 type reaction through the uh, that means uh, that you will get the either by the sn2 mechanism okay so first here acid base reaction here na plus h minus okay this h minus remove the h plus so we will get the carbal sorry uh, anion it is acting as a strong nucleophile and it is powers for the sn2 type reaction okay so in sn2 type reaction primary alkyl halides are more reactive so this alkyl halide must be simple alkyl halide okay they will get the either successfully in a good yield okay now here this one uh, on reaction to koh here slightly acid base reaction takes place and then here intramolecular sn2 type reaction takes place that means here first one, here second one, third, four, five, sixth. So here in this case, we can write the six member ring with oxygen atom. Here first, second, third, four, five, six. On the second atom, there is a methyl group. It is an intramolecular um, Williamson either synthesis. Okay, it is an intramolecular SN2 type. First, as a result of the acid base reaction, strong nucleophile. There is alkyl halide, this is the carbon carries a positive charge, it is a negatively charged oxygen that attacks on the positively charged carbon, okay. Next year, this alkene on reaction with the HOCl, okay. This alkene on reaction with the HOCl. HOCl is involved in a, uh, that means uh, uh, addition reaction, that alkenes are involved in an addition reaction. So, on reaction with the hypochlorous acid, we will get the chlorohydrin actually, we will get the chlorohydrin, okay. This chlorohydrin generally here HOCl addition follows a Marconi cup food. Okay, HOCl addition follows a Marconi cup food. Here in this case OH minus Cl plus. So the negative part is added to the carbon which has a less number of hydrogens and positive part added to the carbon which has a uh, more number of hydrogens. So next year followed the reaction with KOH. Okay, so slightly here acid base reaction takes place O minus here K plus. So intramolecular SN2 type attacking. So he will get the cyclic either. Okay, that's it. So it involves a alkophilic addition followed by nucleophilic substitution reaction. Okay, there is a one model. Next year, the one more point. Here in this case, the it is a, a phenol as well as alcoholic group is there. Okay, phenolic group as well as alcoholic group is there. So here by adding NaOH one equivalent, generally here phenolic hydrogen and alkylic hydrogen, phenolic hydrogen is a more active hydrogen, okay. So generally you know that phenols are more acidic than the alcohols, okay. Phenols are more acidic than the alcohols. For suppose I am taking uh, ethyl alcohol and uh, phenol, phenol more acidic because the conjugate base is stabilized by the resonance, more stable conjugate base, more acidic because here higher the stability of the conjugate base then this compound has a higher tendency to release H plus ion. So here in this case uh, this conjugate base is not stabilized by the resonance. Here there is a uh, resonance with the benzene ring that's a conjugate base stable so phenol readily lose H plus ions. So phenols are more acidic than the alcohols. So here by using one equivalent of the NaOH so here first uh, this hydrogen is removed that's it. Okay now here adding methyl iodide okay adding methyl iodide here in this case uh, here either nucleophilic it is a nucleophilic site and this is also nucleophilic site but here charging nucleophiles are more reactive okay charging nucleophiles have the higher nucleophilicity so here substitution takes place on this oxygen so here in this case this is acting as nucleophile here was ca3 and uh, that, that is the final product okay now here interestingly by reacting with the sodium amide or by reacting with the sodium hydride here we are taking a two equivalents of the base so here by taking two equivalents of the base here both protons are removed okay both protons are removed that means here both are the charged nucleophiles here in this case i am adding one equivalent of the methyl iodide okay 
one equivalent of the methyl iodide. Here in this case, there are the two new profiles, both are the charge. Here in this case, one is a charge, one is a neutral. So a charge new profiles here are more reactive. So substitution on this also. Okay. Now here, these two are the charged one. But here in this case, this is inward in a resonance actually. Okay. This is inward in a resonance. So here the mag the magnitude of the electron density negative charge very less because that is inward in a delocalization. But here the charge on this oxygen atom is localized, so it is a more reactive nucleophile. It is a good electron donor. Okay. But here in this case, negatively charged here neutral. Here also here it is inward in a resonance, but negatively charged nucleophiles are more reactive. But here in this case, both are negatively charged. Here these electrons are inward in a resonance. Okay, on this or from this oxygen, electrons are involved in resonance. So here nucleophilicity uh, decreases. Okay, this is a more nucleophilic. So that's why here in this case substitution on this oxygen. So here in this case, O minus here O CH3 followed by acid workup, you will get the this compound. So here OH, yes, O C H3. So you can see uh, clearly the difference between these two. Uh, we are using one equivalent of the base, here phenoxide ion, here alcohol group. It is a more nucleophilic, so substitution with this oxygen. Okay. Here, two equivalents of the base, we get the both are charged nucleophiles, but here in this case, it is a more nucleophilic because this charge is delocalized with the uh, benzene ring. Okay. Here, it localized electron, so this oxygen has a more electron density, so it is a more nucleophilic, so this oxygen attacks on the methyl group. Okay. That is the final product. So, next year, uh, it is also similar question aqueous sodium uh, potassium yeah. now here in this case uh, uh, this compound on reaction with aqueous so potassium carbonate okay of course it is nothing but uh, koh plus h2co3 aqueous solution of uh, potassium carbonate is nothing but koh plus h2co3 here koh is a base so here in this case that remove the more acidic proton okay so here o minus here ch2 OH. Right. So now here this one on reaction with any metha, any alkyl iodide. So a substitution takes place because it is a more nucleophilic. Charged species are the more nucleophilic. So substitution takes place on this one. So here OCH3 and OH. Okay. That is the previous uh, J main question in the September session. Okay. Okay. So let us discuss one more. Uh, 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 interesting example here it is based on the nucleophilicity of the uh, uh, that uh, biden nucleophile so here this is uh, uh, there are the two active hydrogens in this compound by reacting with the two equivalents of the base those two active hydrogens are removed so here in this case o minus here o minus this one is the no2 now here between these two so for suppose it is an ambidate nucleophile Okay, between these two, which is a more nucleophilic, that means which is a more reactive, which is a good electron donor. Okay, so here in this case, so actually here there is a NO2 group, this one acting as a minus M group. So minus M effect of any group or plus M effect of any group working at the ortho, uh, ortho position and para position, but not at meta position. That means here, here in this case, this negative charge. So your O minus pi bond, your pi bond, your pi bond, this one and our bond O. Okay, this negative charge is inward in a conjugation with this NO2 group. That means here the minus M effect is working on this negatively charged oxygen. For suppose I am taking another one, your negative charge, this pi bond, pi bond, pi bond, this is NO2. Okay, now here this negative charge is inward in a de delocalization. But here in this case, these two pi bonds are in conjugation. But these two pi bonds are not in conjugation. But here in this case, these pi bonds are in conjugation. There is a proper connection. That's why this negative charge is directly delocalized with the NO2 group. That means here minus M effect is working on this oxygen. So this charge is more delocalized. But here in this case, this negative charge is not involved in conjugation with this NO2 group. Okay. So here in this case, these two are in conjugation. But these two are not in conjugation. So here that means here that minus M effect of the NO2 group is not working with this oxygen. So here this negative charge, this is negative charge is less delocalized, but this negative charge is more delocalized with the minus M effect of the NO2 group. So here in this case, finally this oxygen is a slightly more nucleophilic when compared to this oxygen. 
so here this is attacks on this methyl so here finally this one O minus here OCAC and this one is the NO2 so followed by acid workup so you will get the OH OCH3 and NO2 as a final product okay that's it thank you